What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Ark the Center. We are going to get right to the point. This is take two of trying to tame a Uterenus. So I'm going to transform you into the pickup mode. So here's what I've done beforehand. I tamed up another d -Arc off camera and I also tamed another Mono off camera. I got the biome needed to tame it and we should be good to go when it comes to that. So we're gonna go ahead, oh, never mind, we're over encumbered. I was gonna say we're gonna go ahead and tame this UD, but no, we're over encumbered. So let me go put some stuff away real quick. Yep, there we go, that's much better. We'll have to level you up and wait a little bit, just so we can have more. All right, take two of taming a UD, let's go. So what we're gonna do, once we find a UD, we're going to knock it out, tame it. That's an Alpha Raptor. Wouldn't mind taming a quick Alpha Raptor. I don't think we really got anything. We got 28 levels. Let's put that into weight. Get a thousand weight. Get like a thousand stamina. Some health and then some melee. Just so we can become a little bit stronger. There we go. All right, now we're ready to head out for real this time. As I was saying before that... Alpha Raptor interrupted us. I was going to, once we get to the snow biome, we'll grab the UD, knock it out, tame it, and then go home, drop it off, and then come back for another one. That's what we'll do. If by any point the game crashes, before I log back in, I will make sure that all the mods are still activated. So that way there, I don't lose any progress. Or I shouldn't lose anything again because that that was horrible that really was horrible and that little pond area avoiding that like the plague because i think that's what caused the crash in the first place oh and also the dinosuchus has officially become a part of the base game and also i don't know if i said this with the alpha raptor i removed the arcology mod from here yeah i completely removed that mod from here because i don't want to make that mistake again because the two RGs that I tamed were Arcology RGs. Speaking of which, if we could find a high level RG. Hello, 130 RG. All right, for real this time. And since this is a vanilla RG, we'll just go ahead and... I've got the Pyromane on and I'm still freezing. Don't get that part. I will knock this guy out. Since it's a 130, it's not as strong as the one we had. But it's at least something anyway. That was a miss. And we got him. He is out. Now this guy is a male, so we're going to have to find a female if we're going to breed these up. Alright, so what I'll do, I'll let you guys know when this guy's fully tamed. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. And there we have it. Argentavis has been tamed. We'll look at the stats later, and you know what? I am going to save the game here, just in case. Alright, let's go look for this UD. I heard a UD. I hear a UD. What level are you? 15? Alright, that one looks like it's getting its ass kicked. Then again, it is a 15. And down he goes. Awesome. Alright, we got the RG. Or we got the... Ow! Anyway, as I was saying, we got the... The UD. It's knocked out. Where is it? There it is. There's a baby something. A Carno. Alright, so what we're gonna do... We're gonna tame this UD. And then we're going to... And then we're going to bring it back home and then come back. That's what we're going to do. All right, so I'll see you guys in a little bit when this guy's fully tamed. And there we have it. Uterenus has been tamed. Now this guy is a male, so we're going to have to find a female. All right, let's get back home. And then we will, you know, I'm going to save just in case. We'll go back home and then we'll see what happens. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, and we are back at base. 
let's go ahead and drop off the first UD. This guy's only a level 15. Five points into health. For a level 15? That's pretty good. Only two points into melee, though. Let's drop the RG off as well, since we're here. I don't want to lose you. All right. Oh, wait. I forgot to check your stats. So you were a 130 RG, so you had 31 points into health, 39 points into stamina, and 36 points into melee. Pretty good, actually. And you know what? I'm going to save it here, just in case. And then we've also got this RG here. This is the 95 that I tamed up to get us home. So, you probably won't be of any use to us. Up, oh, we got a raptor attacking the base. Let's head back and go after the female UD. I think this strat will work a lot better. All right, so you're the 130 Nothosaurus. I think next episode we'll tame a Nothosaurus. It shouldn't be too hard. Like, I don't think you knock it out because I don't think it has a torpor bar. Oh, it does. It does. You know, let me let me read up on it before I tame it. All right, I think I see the little circles. That means a UD's nearby. What we'll level are you? Okay, 135. And it's a female as well, which is perfect. It is being attacked by a saber tooth. That was a direct hit. How awesome is that? That was also a hit. Awesome. I don't think you can reach me from up here. That's good. I'm just going to shoot as many arrows as possible. We're at 7,000. We're halfway there. Now, the male was only a 15, mind you. So that was a lot easier to knock out. I think D-Arc is one of those animals that can be scared off right off the bat. Yeah, yeah, get stuck, get stuck there. That's perfect. And down she goes. Awesome. Alright, let me just get rid of everything else in the area. And there we have it. Euterrenus has been tamed. Alright, so we got a 135 female. So now if we find a stronger male, then we could easily try to tame that as well. If we find one. Alright, let me just save for now. Ow! Alright, I'm leaving, Callie. Damn. Alright. I will see you guys back at base. Once we've, you know, I think UD spawned up there as well. So I'll see you guys back at base where we add game. Thank you. Where we check out the UDs and check out the RG that we tamed. See what they're all capable of, and then we'll uh, call it an episode. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. And then off camera, I'll probably try to recover some more tames that we lost, including the geckos and the cat and whatever else. And then we'll see about taming a Nothosaurus next episode. Did I just see a Leviathan? There's one of those giant whale things. That's a Leviathan. For those of you that don't know, that's the uh, giant whale thing. There it is. It's only a level 25, and it is apparent. I think the way you tame those, you have to kill its baby, and then use its parts to, like, try and lure an adult one, and then I think that's how you tame it. I'm not 100% certain. But yeah, we're not going to focus on that right now, though. And we're back. Safe at base. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take the UD. This was a higher level U Tyrannus, so of course it's going to be a lot stronger. You know, just out of curiosity, what are your stats? 28 points into health, that doesn't seem that great. 35 points into stamina, 26 points into melee, that's even worse. So it's got terrible melee and terrible health. So yeah, we're going to have to see if we can get some better ones in the future. Alright, so next on the agenda, we need, I think, either a cooking pot or an industrial cooker. Let's take this RG out for a spin and see what you're all about. So this is the Argentavis. 
There's a 50 Nothosaurus. I'd like to see if I can, you know, kill you, see what you're all about. 218, a uh, game, 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 thank you. 218 base damage, that's not bad. Oh, there's the 135 Nothosaurus. I thought it despawned for whatever reason. Yeah, so that's a 135 female. We could go after that, or there's this 130. I'd love to see what gender it is. Alright, hold on. Let me level up a bit. We're gonna have to tame an Overraptor at some point, because we're gonna need some of that. Alright, I don't think we have the resources for a Uterenus saddle at the moment. I think we do need Silica Pearls for that. I don't have the Gecko anymore, which means we're gonna have to use Bog Standard Scuba Gear to go underwater and get Silica Pearls, which kinda sucks. So in the meantime, I want to get a cooking pot just to see what we need for exceptional kibble. Or sorry, not exceptional. Extraordinary kibble. That's what we need. There we go. We need extraordinary dinosaur egg. That's from the Uterenus. Giant bee honey. Medjo berry. Lazarus chowder. Fiber and water. Other than the honey, that's actually pretty easy. Relatively easy. How do we make Lazarus chowder? You know what? That That's doable. That's actually doable. Yeah. Alright. For now, that's going to have to wrap it up for this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.